My name is Dr. Don Walsh. I'm a veterinarian in St. Louis, Missouri. I'm the head of the Animal Health Foundation, and our mission is to find the cause and the prevention of laminitis in horses. All horses are susceptible to laminitis. It doesn't matter if you're the greatest racehorse in the world or a backyard pony. It's the number two killer of horses in this country, but it's by far the number one cause of horses having extreme pain. Horses are unique in that they bear all of their weight on a single digit. The disease causes a separation of the bone inside of the horse's foot from the external hoof wall. It's extremely painful. It's probably the most painful disease that any animal has to endure. Inside the horse's hoof, attaching the bone to the external hoof wall are some structures called lamina. And it is the breakdown within these lamina which cause the bone to separate from the external hoof wall. We know that some things predispose horses to laminitis. Although we don't understand the triggering mechanism, we know that certain conditions can make a horse much more susceptible to the disease. The most common form is caused by horses over ingesting large amounts of grain. This causes problems in the intestinal tract and results in the horses developing the problem in their foot. Anytime a horse has diarrhea or any kind of a large gastrointestinal disturbance, they can get laminitis. Mares that retain their placentas oftentimes um, will develop laminitis as the result of that. Any horse that runs a fever is susceptible to getting laminitis. We know that certain conditions such as ingesting large amounts of grass in the spring and the fall can predispose a horse to also get laminitis. And then we know that horses that are obese or overweight have much more of a tendency to develop the disease. Because of the incidence of laminitis and the pain that this disease causes, it motivated a group of horse people and myself to start the Animal Health Foundation in 1984, a nonprofit organization which is all volunteers. To date, the Animal Health Foundation has funded over $900,000 worth of laminitis research. One of the major researchers that the Animal Health Foundation has funded since 1995 continually is Dr. Chris Pollitt. His work demonstrated that the bond between the external hoof wall and the bone inside of the horse's foot was being destroyed by the overactivation of an enzyme system. Now this enzyme system is necessary and there in the horse's foot to facilitate the normal growth of the foot. But when it's overactivated for a prolonged period of time, it allows the lamina to start to pull apart and break down. And that's what causes the actual painful part of laminitis. Another researcher the Animal Health Foundation has funded for a number of years is Dr. Philip Johnson at the University of Missouri. Dr. Johnson's expertise is in the area of hormone-related laminitis, or laminitis that's related to the obese, overweight type horse. His research in the last few years has discovered an enzyme that is present within the fat cells of these overweight horses which results in the conversion of the inactive form of cortisone to the active form. And this is thought to be one of the primary mechanisms in play which causes these overweight horses to develop this form of the disease. The Animal Health Foundation is also funding a forage researcher named Catherine Watts in Center, Colorado. Her work is designed to find and develop grasses and strains of grasses which are lower in a sugar called fructans which is responsible for the horses developing the laminitis. She also is trying to develop different techniques for managing pastures and managing horses on pasture to try and prevent the occurrence of this disease. So she and Dr. Johnson and Dr. Pollitt are all working together in this effort. If all of the people that love horses can unite together and help fund laminitis research, this can become a preventable disease. We feel like we have the right people in place at the right time. If we can secure adequate funding for them, 
we feel that this can become a preventable disease for the horse. My personal dream would be once all the pieces of the puzzle are in place, that the knowledge that we've gained from this can be spread to all the horse people all over the world. And laminitis can be one of these diseases that you only read about in textbooks that happened a long time ago and that isn't a problem anymore because we know the right things to do, the right ways to prevent it, and the horse no longer has to suffer from this disease. It'll take all of us who care about horses working together to help fund good laminitis research. Once we do this, I truly believe that laminitis can become a preventable disease. Now I invite you to take the lead. Join the Animal Health Foundation in its fight against laminitis. Let's free the horse of this disease. A limited edition 16 by 20 secretariat print by artist Helen Hayes is your gift with any donation of $250 or more. Donations may be sent to the Animal Health Foundation, 3615 Bassett Road, Pacific, Missouri, 63069, or call 636-451-5249, or visit our website at ahf-laminitis.org. All donations are tax deductible. On behalf of those who cannot speak, the Animal Health Foundation thanks you for your support.